just on my way home. Had a excellent Friday night, Saturday morning. At what I would like to call our cold weather climate summit. It's not what it was actually at all. It's a bit of a lie. Right, here we are. It's Friday night and obviously I'm filming so it can only mean one thing cheeky camping but this is like a mad bit of cheeky camping we've actually got permission to camp on this lovely place um, it's got a woodland at the back of it as well but yeah this is like a crazy crazy place to go camping so Again, full permission, it's all closed, there's nobody here. It's, obviously it's the weekend. And this is us. So this is gonna be a really fun evening. Uh, I haven't seen the guys for a while, so it's good to have a little bit of a catch up. We'll have a proper, we'll have a proper sit down, a proper natter, like a lot of old ladies. <laughs> Oh, yes. I hope so. Well, that's enough. That's enough filming. Let's, let's get... What, what do you mean? That'd be sad. The people behind us are relatively new in. And, uh... Go and get me lanterns. Should we get the lanterns on? Do you know what? I, that's one of the things I took out of my van. Yeah, what, what? I know. Don't hit me again. That's like... <laughs> that's like going to the toilet without any bog rule. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Mental. You've got that cushion here, basically. Well, dry, any dry foods, like that dry food that we've got the wayfarer stuff mm. is going to be good to take because we've got obviously snow ice what, what, whatever else to, mm. to, to use as water to rehydrate any food so you've always got a food source mm. which that's that's key to have that backup of food yeah i think and the calories you, it's not as if we're going to be yomping around no, no, but, around. That, but you never know what's going to come up here and, it, and the, the, the worst thing in the world to get snowed in on a bloody road somewhere and mm -hmm. have the yep. capacity to, to get out beside the car and cook some food would it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh me and tig have been to blackpool soon i like going to blackpool you've been to blackpool yes i've worked in blackpool quite a bit probably not had, for uh, the right reasons <laughs> Oh, you look really tired. You've been away all week. Yeah, yeah, it's been really hard. Oh, yeah. That was a dream that fell out, that was. Oh, yeah. Why could that one not be fulfilled? Hi. <laughs> Simon's always there, just, to, just in case. <laughs> going to finish off me hot chocolate and then I'm off to bed and I will speak to you all in the morning after having a bit of a chill for another half an hour or so
As you can see, the place that we stayed is quite magical. And there's an impromptu last minute kind of thing. Excellent place to go. We're just gonna sort ourselves out a bit of breakfast. And here we have Simon just preparing some wood in his usual delicate, fragile kind of way. Is there any technique that you're using there, Mr. Cross? Uh, the cut your finger off technique, this is. Is that working out for you? It's doing very well. It's, have you got an impressive stroke, Simon, oh, if I may say? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think I might have to stop filming at this point, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> I've not cut anything off yet. Well, don't get it too near Phil, we can't afford to lose anything. No, he hasn't got much to lose, to be honest. It's quite hard to hit it. And here we are at camp. I've got Philip on the camera, so that's a bit shaky because that's his normal motion. <laughs> we have him on Quake Vision, he normally does all the Earthquake documentaries. <laughs> Simon's obviously in his usual mediating spot over there, just observing. Being quiet and good. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a good boy, Simon. I feel like we have rounds up very much in the way. Pink sausage. Pink, 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 pink. What? Pink. Pink. Rather than later. Rather than um, Pink having to do all the uh, running yep. around. Just on my way home, I've had a Friday night out with Philip Crossy. Very pleasurable, even though it was raining quite a fair bit. So, nothing we could do about that. But we had a tarp up and we had a, a fire going and everything else. And it was, it was really nice. Um, the main reason uh, for the meeting that we just had, we're calling it a meeting, it sounds official, is we've got two winter trips planned, uh, one for January, February and then for March, uh, both of which are going to be cold weather camps. So I don't want to say too much about it because uh, we haven't really finalised all the details, but one of them will be a trip up to Scotland to have some chilliness. And all I will say about the other one is we are, we, it's like we are, we've already booked it or everything, the flights, the hotels, uh, the connections, etc. We are planning on doing some uh, camping up into Sweden and uh, sort of the Finnish Lapland. We're going to be camping in March uh, inside the Arctic Circle. We're going to go up a little bit. So that's going to be a, a bit of an interesting trip. So we're probably going to have another two or three uh, meetups this year just to discuss what we're going to do, what clothing we need to have, what equipment we're going to need, etc. etc. So that's pretty cool. And it's obviously a really good excuse for all three of us uh, to get together and have a little bit of a cheeky camp, as well as us all bickering and squabbling like children as well, which is always fun. But, you know, it's all in good taste and we'll have a, a great time doing it as well. So it gives us something to look forward to. Yeah, and, that, and that's pretty much it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and you just have yourself a lovely day.